So this set you can see that I use all the time. They are really amazing. So these are the uh, Konda palette knives which I purchased not too long ago. And you can see I use them all the time. Uh, they are the best thing since sliced bread. And I'm going to show you just how great they are for mixing colors on your palette. My favorite is the number one. It's really great. So as you can see, I like mixing colors, pre-mixing my colors. And so I'm going to show you just how great they are. I'm just going to start mixing and kind of matching this. And you can see how quickly I could move through this. And as you can see, I could mix with ease using this palette knife set. It really is great. You won't be disappointed, especially if you paint a lot or want to paint a lot. This is really a great product. As you can see, it when I wipe it, it cleans up perfectly, which is great. And then I can come in with some lighter colors here with burnt sienna, maybe a little bit of the burnt umber, and some of my raw sienna. And now you can see I have this slightly lighter color. And you can just see how the metal on these palette knives are really sturdy but bends, but keeps its shape. So those are the qualities that you definitely need. And I can put that right there and kind of mix in my colors there. And I can create more. So I'll just go back to this over here. A little bit of my burnt umber. And a little bit of our Caput Mortem. Just come right here. See how we can kind of recreate this really happy uh, situation we need a little bit more of a red so we're going to use our naphthol red and that may be a little too strong so I'm going to come in with some of my Davies gray love Davies gray it just kind of neutralizes your colors and then we need a little bit more of our yellow here. Maybe some yellow ochre. And you can see I can just place that right there. And that's how we pretty much mix our colors, getting ready for the next color, which is more of a fleshy color. So we're going to use our burnt sienna and some of our yellow ochre. And then we're going to add some white to this. And you can see how this palette knife really helps me to mix this very thoroughly because 
it maintains its shape yet I could bend it which is really helpful you kind of move this around put that right there then we can go with our lightest color which is pretty easy which is just some of our burnt sienna and white one to one maybe two to one let's see definitely need more white to this but we'll make sure we thoroughly mix this you can see you really can go ahead and mix that nicely And notice just how quickly I'm able to go through all the colors that I need to paint the portrait. So now we're going to do pure white. And notice how I can use the palette knife to just do these really soft blends. And I'm not dirtying a brush because you know how difficult the brush is to clean and look how beautiful just make this really neat and now look how nice I have a complete color range that I can go from the highlights all the way to the darks now remember this was done with the Konda set, which is really amazing. Highly recommend it. I use it all the time. I'm a professional artist, and you need to pick it up at this incredible price.